Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chel Chic, and I'm back with another video. So I have been getting a couple of requests asking if I was going to start doing styling and fashion videos, and that definitely has been the plan and is still the plan. The first video that I really wanted to do was a major haul, but I just haven't been shopping that much for clothing, so I think I wanted to wait until I actually was shopping. I mean, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in the house, so I wasn't really shopping for clothing. I've been doing a lot of house shopping and stuff, but then it occurred to me, well, I did kind of go shopping um, to get some spring stuff right before um, we started being at home, so I've had some things for about like six weeks or so, but I really haven't had the opportunity to wear them. They're super springy, maybe a little summery. So I wanted to go ahead and do a try on haul with what is new in my wardrobe. If you are new here, welcome. I would love to have you as a subscriber. If you could go ahead and click that subscribe button and then turn on your notifications so you can get a notification every time I make a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so the first item that I actually bought was this really cute camel color blazer from Zara. I love blazers and I just think they look so classy and polished and I like to pair them with jeans. I like to wear them to work. I like to wear them on a regular casual day. So I thought this was super cute. I already have it in white. So when I saw the camel, I just thought I had to have it. I have not been able to wear it yet. I probably got this about two months ago now, but it's so cute. Um, so this is actually one of my faves. I'll probably pair it with the nice cute pump and jeans, or if I'm going to work, like a cute little slack and some pumps. I just think this is definitely a look. So like I said, I love blazers. So I got this blazer from Zara. This is, I think they call it the frock coat. I have it in black, yellow, red, and gray, and now teal. So I'm obsessed. Like I said, I'm obsessed with blazers. So this, I just thought that this was a really cute, springy type summer color. I'll probably again wear this with some jeans or to work or something. And then I also got these cute um, pumps. They're like a pink pastel. They're like a pink pastel snake print pump. And I got these from Steve Madden. I will link these. I think these are so cute for, again, spring. Still have not got to pop them out, but I'm loving these shoes, y'all. I'm a fanatic for a really cute pump. So this is just, I don't think I would exactly wear it like this, but this is kind of a look. So one thing I'm definitely feeling for the spring, summer is like a nice boyfriend jean. So I did pick up two boyfriend jeans from Zara. Oops. Oopsies. I think these are a size six. These are really cute. I really don't like shorts that much, so I really like jeans, but it's really hot in Texas, so I needed to find some looser jeans. So I think th these are really cute, distressed jeans. These are the slim fit boyfriend jeans from Zara, and I thought these are so cute. Probably wear, you know, a nice little pump or sandal and a cute top. The only thing is they're really big in the waist and I'm not a fan of of um, belts, but I think they're cute. You can put a nice little jacket or something. So this is the next pair of boyfriend jeans. I mean, these really feel like you're in your boyfriend's jeans. I mean, come on, Jenny Craig. I look like I've lost pounds, but 
no these are a size six and they're really really big but i think they're supposed to be like that so you can wear them low or higher they're a little wrinkled but i like these jeans i think they really give like that boyish like swaggy look and then you can pair it again with some pumps um I'm really not a tennis shoe type of girl, so I don't really wear tennis shoes that much. But this is really cute. I've actually worn these with that blue blazer, but I really like these jeans and I'm looking to incorporate them maybe with like some crop tops or something. Well, I don't know. I think I'm debating getting them tailored a little bit so that they're just not so baggy. Let me know what y'all think. You think I should get them tailored or just leave them be because they're supposed to be like that. But they make my booty look flat. I like them to look a little bit more tighter, but these are a really cute pair of boyfriend jeans from Zara. And I'm not even gonna lie, I think these were high. Like, $80 and my Zara jeans have been known to rip, but maybe because these are loose, they won't rip. Let me know if anybody has had any problems with their Zara jeans ripping or is it just me? So my go-to thing to wear is jeans, but I wanted to try to like pop it up a little bit, step it up. So I went outside the box with these pink pants and I also bought this little black crop top it's like a silky type material I don't really know if I'd wear this together I think it needs something else so it's like not doing it for me I'm thinking maybe jewelry or a belt or a different top something but I think these pants are cute I don't need them tailored so they fit pretty well I like that they have pockets and they're bright a nice little Heeled sandal or something, maybe like for brunch or a day party or something. I think that'll be cute. So, not really a day party, maybe a date night or something. I don't know. Check out. But, <laughs> I ain't going nowhere no time soon. But, I think these pants are super cute. And again, Zara. Zara is my favorite store, so I always go to Zara. Then I'll get some stuff from other little boutiques and online stuff, but Zara is my go-to place. I think that it's like a balance of quality and price. I mean, some things aren't that great quality and some things aren't that cheap, but I think it's a pretty good balance. So I like these pants a lot. I'll probably honestly pop these babies out for work or something, or is that too loud? I don't know, probably still wear them. So these are a cute little pair of blue pumps that I got from DSW for like $45 or something. I think these are really cute. I'll probably honestly wear these to work or church or something. I don't really see me wearing them out. I think they're a little too businessy for me. Some people probably don't think they're businessy, but I think they're like, Business with the sass about style or something. But I got these. They're by Mix Number Six from DSW. I love this bright cobalt blue color. So, yes, get into these. So, a few years ago, I got the Tory Burch Miller sandal in the nude patent color. And I wore those things like out. So they finally broke on me like a few months ago. So I went ahead and repurchased them, but I purchased them in black. I think I'm gonna get the new pair too, but these are just a very nice, classic, simple shoe. I like these because I don't really wear flats too much, but these can go with anything. You could dress them up, dress them down, and yeah. I like these a lot. So another pair of shoes that I got were these black and clear 
pump. So Shoots had a pair at Nordstrom for like $154 and I wanted them so bad. I was debating and debating and debating and I was gonna get them. And then I saw them at Steve Madden for like $75 but they didn't have my size. So then one day I'm in DSW and mix for six again for the win. These shoes were $45. They really convey the same type of look. They're like clear, they're just as high. So I think these are super cute. I wanna find them in nude. If I could find a cheaper version in nude, I will get them. And I'm not like a cheap person when it comes to shoes. I will buy expensive shoes, but if I can find a dupe, that's comfortable, that doesn't look cheap, I'm going to buy them. So, mix number six really has a lot of cute pumps for affordable price. So DSW is my go-to. I think these are so sexy. I'll probably wear these again to work. I mean, with some black slacks or something when I'm trying to feel bossy. I'm bossy. I'm the first girl to scribble on the track. Yeah. Let's get into them. Yes, cheek. Yes, girl. And then lastly, I got these sunglasses on sale at Nordstrom Rack for I think like $60, like $67 or $57, something like that on clearance at Nordstrom Rack. They are Fendi. Yeah, they're Fendi. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with sunglasses as well. And I love to get a cute designer pair for a good price because I have paid a lot of money for sunglasses over the years and I always lose them. So I told myself I don't deserve expensive sunglasses anymore for expensive price. So I always get them on clearance or at Nordstrom Rack or like TJ Maxx or something. Not really TJ Maxx, but like Saks Fifth, Off-Broadway, all that stuff. Saks Off Fifth, that's what it's called not off Broadway, that's a shoe store. Yeah. But I don't deserve it, so I got these sunglasses. So I think these are cute, let me know what you think. I'll probably be buying myself a pair for my birthday too. Two more weeks, or a week? Like 10 days, dang, I'm getting old. Well, that was all for what's new in my wardrobe. Um, Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you would like to see other videos. If you have any other videos that you want me to do, I have a couple of videos in my queue. So if you've requested it already, be patient with me. I'm just finishing school. Praise Jesus. If you've seen this before I submit my thesis, pray for me because your girl is almost done. Thank you guys for watching.